Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and as always it's a blessing to be with you. My journey to freedom has been just that, a crazy journey. One of addiction, two prison sentences, and destroying my marriage and family and how God redeemed and restored everything. And if you were to ask me what I'm most thankful for that God has done in my life through this journey, I would say that I'm thankful for his discipline. Yes, you heard that correct, his discipline. You see, I didn't have a father growing up, so there wasn't any discipline in my life as a child, which is why I destroyed everything in my life. Until I gave my life to Christ in 2008, man, I was on fire for God, even during a prison sentence. I was on mission. And I remember a Christian Bible teacher who would come to the prisons and have Bible studies with us. He said this to me. He says, I see, I see that you're on fire for the Lord. I see your zeal. But when you go through a desert place in your spiritual life, hold on to God and keep following Jesus. And I remember looking at him as if he was the crazy one. Like that would never happen. Lo and behold, two years later, I not only moved out to the desert, but my spiritual life was also in a desert. I just stopped going to church, stopped reading my word. I wasn't praying often. I had one foot in and one foot out. And when it came down to it, I knew what was right and wrong as a follower of Christ, but I chose wrong, which got me another prison sentence. And that was a turning point for me as a follower of Christ. You see, God showed me something at that time in my journey. He showed me how much he loves me as a son, as a son, by disciplining me and correcting me. Hebrews 12, 5 and 6 says this. It says, my son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. The one he loves, every son whom he receives. You see, it was the Father's correction that is what I needed in my life to get me back on track for what God was calling me to do. I realized that God didn't want part of me, half of me, but he wanted all of me, total surrender. I repented and went all in for Jesus at that point in my life. I finished that second prison term uh, 11 years ago. And because I received God's discipline and correction, I started to walk in freedom. God restored my marriage, our children, and now I have the honor and privilege of serving here at Calvary as a campus pastor in Parker, Arizona. Maybe you've had one foot in and one foot out. Can I just encourage you today just to repent? Ask God to forgive you. Take his correction because that's what leads us to freedom. That is my journey. Thank you and God bless you.